Hello everyone and happy Christmas Eve. In this video we are going to be looking at all open source contributions by these five companies. Uh, so I found this article uh, which then inspired me to actually go and look at what open source projects they have because I know that Meta has a bunch. Um, and I thought we could still read this article. Uh, if not, just skip to the parts. I'll try and time. I'll try and um, put a time link in the description, and you can just look at the things you're interested in. Because uh, I thought it'd be really interesting. So, this is obviously a daily dose of data data science blog, which means these are just sort of the data related ones. Uh, should we have a quick scan through them? Uh, actually, let's not. You know, we can come back to this at the end if you're interested. I wanted to look, and I was happy to find out actually that each of these websites has a section for all of their open source projects, which is really cool. Links in the description as always. Um, Shall we start with Meta? I know Meta have loads. Uh, React, I use a lot of React. Docusaurus, PyTorch, I think PyTorch was probably mentioned in here. Uh, PyTorch, a popular machine learning framework. I have used it a little bit back in the day, but I don't do too much machine learning at the moment. React Native, uh, Create React App. Um, do we still use that? I forget. I think so. Oh, yeah, Create. Uh, that, yeah, there was something I was getting confused. Llama. Llama is quite cool. Um, let's just view all of them, right? Segment anything. That's So they've got a bunch of... The research things. God, they've got so many things. That's kind of crazy. Like, <coughs> a lot of people like to hate on Facebook and Meta, especially over the years. And, you know, I do understand it. But the one thing, you know, you can criticize Mark Zuckerberg and Meta and Facebook and things they've done in the past. But you cannot knock their contributions to open source. It's sort of crazy. Um, I feel like a lot of these things are going to be research. I'm almost more interested in the... There's so many categories, man. Should we just scroll, see if we find anything interesting? Audio processing. Relay. The GraphQL client that scales with you. It's going to be quite interesting to sort of look at some of these. Maybe I'll do that over Christmas. A layout engine. I've never even heard of this. Yoga. Do people still use this? Actually, I wanted to use... Let's see when this was last updated. Six months ago, two weeks ago. It's all crazy. Facebook and Meta, they just have so many engineers. You probably just like work on random things in there. What is this even for? We're going to get so distracted in this video. Leave a like, by the way. Subscribe. Um, yeah. Yoga is an embeddable layout system. Okay. We can't read everything. We can't read everything. Presto. The official home for Presto. That's an SQL. I'll be honest. I knew Facebook did a lot. But this is just insane. I, I, I'm willing to bet that the reason it's so insane. Is because you just have people starting random projects inside Meta. And then they obviously make these projects open source. Because they're not part of their core product. So it's literally just like. Oh they've hired some people and those people have gone on to just build a project that was probably useful for them to work on a specific product and they've open sourced it so stetho sam2 so there's a lot of research stuff research animated drawings this is sort of crazy garlic <laughs> these are all quite cool are these I, I don't understand if these are AI oh okay oh there you go so you have like okay that's quite cool I might use this to like this would be quite fun to just like have on the video in the background I feel like just some drawings that are um dancing in the background lol I, I feel like i'm gonna save this i'm gonna save this not in articles oh these names are so bad tools one there's not even a tools two anymore <laughs> oh god that laugh it's because i'm ill this is so funny man this guy is a legend 
This is great. This is great. I absolutely love this. Uh, I'd like to think that that person who was dancing in the picture, I'd like to think that he coded the whole thing. Probably true as well. Um, a JavaScript engine. React Native. I've not really used React Native, so I don't know why I clicked on that. We're not that interested. Look, there's too many. There's too many. We're going to have to like go up and like do some filtering. Um, should we look at virtual reality? What exists there? This is crazy, the amount of software. There might be some good inspiration for some projects we could work on. Oh, OBS plugins. I'm using OBS right now. Plugins which are used with OBS. I mean, it doesn't say what the plugins are, though. So this is... Oh, this is quite old. <laughs> Virtual reality. Right, do you know what we're going to do? We're going to move on because there's just... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my cough. How hot is this lem sip? I'm going to try and take a sip of my lem sip. Sorry, my slurp. <sighs> Delicious. Got the lemon flavor one. Um... What is this? Google open source. We all know about Android, Kubernetes, Angular. Ooh, boo. I hate Angular. Probably the only front end language I've ever worked with that I just absolutely hate. Um, I don't like it. Sorry, Google. It was a big L. Uh, Dart. I've heard Dart of Dart. I've heard of Flutter. It's... So again, Google have done plenty of. Golang. I do want to use Learn Golang. Istio. Manage and secure microservices. Knative. Or it could be like knife. You know, where the K is silent. So it would just be a native. Although very confusing. So Kubernetes. Knative probably, yeah. Kubernetes. There's got to be more. Well, apparently not... I feel like there is more. Projects. Clear all. Projects. Open source dot Google. Uh, okay. Well, Facebook or Meta. Why did they rebrand, man? How's you massively beat? I don't even think it matters. They could have just been called Facebook. Like, I don't know. Meta's good, but whatever. Whatever. Microsoft. They've gone for just a list view. I see. <coughs> Aesthetically speaking, I don't really like it, but who cares? Uh, it's a very open source thing, I feel like, to just have this is just like minimum effort. Here's the content, here's what we do. Uh, so what have I heard of? Windows Calculator. I didn't know that was open source. That's amazing. Look at that in all its glory. Calculator. Why is it on scientific? Standard. Let's try and make it. There's no history yet, apparently. Look at that. Beautiful. Amazing. I don't know why we're looking at Windows Calculator. I didn't, but yeah, we are. Dapper. Not heard of Dapper. .NET, we all heard of .NET. Fast, bit on web components. I've not heard about Fast. You don't really associate Microsoft with sort of stuff like this. Web components. Heft. TypeScript projects. Is TypeScript? Surely TypeScript isn't a Windows thing. Kubernetes. Wait. Oh, that just means they've probably contributed or pay. Ah, maybe they've just like supported rather than built. Windows Terminal, the Yarn Federation. <coughs> God, fluent UI. I feel like Microsoft is a bit weak, man. 
with their contributions. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, although, actually, if we go back to uh, here, they've got ONNX. Is that, was that even on here? Ugh, where are my hands? Where are Onyx Runtime? I've not actually heard of this before, but it is on this list, so fair enough. Runtime Cross-Platform Inference and Training Machine Learning Accelerator. Let's have a look at some examples. Uh, it's just writing. You expect me to read? It's just a... Uh, I'm not going to click on any of these, but just wanted to see what it is. Fair enough, Microsoft. You really are boring, aren't you? Guess boring gets the job done. We're just going to go and skip Windows. Fluent UI is a collection of UX frameworks for creating beautiful cross-platform apps. Fair enough. I feel like they've all got their own version of that. We are now looking at the NVIDIA open source projects. And actually, there's quite a few. Although Meta seems to have everyone, we're going to go back in a second, really has everyone beat by a huge, huge margin, it seems. Um, so yeah, let's see. Cub. I feel like a lot of this is just going to be sort of hardware related, obviously. Jetbot. Should we have a look at Jetbot? I mean, I like how it looks. Looks quite cool. I have worked with, I actually did an engineering degree, so I have worked with stuff like this. Quite fun. Um, we had one with a little camera on it, and the goal was to basically make it chase a ping pong ball, or move a ping pong ball. And yeah, kind of used camera tracking for that. And then, based on that, you're basically rotating each wheel uh, to, to make it follow it. It was quite fun. This was a while ago. Um, what else have we got? Yeah, PyTorch. <coughs> Extension. Apex. Cool, cool, cool. I was about to say it looks like Python, and then I realized it is Python. <laughs> Because uh, I was being silly. Triton. I hope you're actually enjoying this video. I feel like there's going to be a bunch of people who <coughs> have clicked away. But the people who are still here, they're real Gs. Maybe I need to find a wet, better way of sort of showing this content. There, We could almost go through it. I wouldn't go through it one at a time, obviously. But... Maybe we could explore some of these a bit more, or use them as inspiration to build things. So maybe that's the way to go about it. And deep learning examples. There's a lot. I mean, NVIDIA is smashing it, isn't it, for AI? Uh, at least on the hardware side, but I think their software is really good too. At least that's my understanding. Content creation. Shaders. When it says there's a home, I keep clicking on the Git repository, but maybe it's actually better to go on the website because usually that will make it a bit more easy to see what's going on. Getting distracted. So there's some cool stuff, as always, links will be below. <coughs> Crikey. So, now we're on Yandex. I'm going to be honest, I don't even know what Yandex is. I hadn't heard of Yandex before. What is Yandex? Wait, Yandex is a search engine? Um... 
give me or steep purple. Am I going to regret searching that? What is Yandex? Yandex is a technology that builds intelligent product, products and services powered by machine learning. Uh, it's a Russian technology company. Did not know that. I've literally never heard of it. Mr. Crab. Can you feel it now, Mr. Krabs? Fair enough. Anyway, so that's what Yandex is, apparently. Come check it out. Use your Russian search engine, if you like. Wait, they have their own games? Ooh. World of War Tanks. This whole channel is just me getting distracted by things on the internet. Anyway. Open source projects, YDP. Distributed SQL database, Ytaurus. So no. Ytsaurus, not Ytaurus. Um, okay. Don't know what that is. Storage and processing. These are all quite boring. These feel like utilities. Modern interfaces. Gravity UI. DevKit. Diplodoc. They're like all dinosaurs themed. Is why is Yandex related to dinosaurs? Or did it's just someone there likes dinosaurs? Because a Diplodocosaur. There's like a Diplosaurus or whatever, and a something saurus. Cat boost. It's got open source since 2017. I was gonna say we must be part past gradient boosting. <coughs> <coughs> Let me take a sip. They've got some more open source. So, yeah, I mean, it was interesting to see what exists. That's for sure. I think we have to declare Zuckerberg sort of the king of open source because there's just so many. Although I feel like they've list listed just like every internal Git repo they have here that they're not using for a product specifically. Or that isn't part of the core product, you know, just tools. They don't sell the tools, they just have the, the software that the tools are building. Docusaurus as well. Okay. <coughs> Quiet, gee whiz. But anyway. I think I'm going to leave it there. This is Christmas Eve. I hope you have a nice Christmas. Hopefully this didn't completely... Oh, there's a showcase. Bore you. And, I don't know. Docusaurus in space. Nice. I'll leave it on that note. Take care.